Historically, the 737 fleet has consisted of three generations of aircraft. The original, the classic, and the next generation or NG. The next generation series is made up of four variants, which include the 600, 700, 800, and 900 models. Unless otherwise noted, the 800 series will be the focus of these lessons. The minimum crew required for the 737NG are two pilots and four flight attendants. The 737NG is an entirely new aircraft, sharing very little with previous 737s other than fuselage frames. Advancements in the flight deck include a glass cockpit with six LCD screens and digital systems heavily inspired by those used on the 777. The 737NG is a short to medium range aircraft that can be utilized on a variety of routes, including numerous domestic city pairs and intercontinental routes. The following is a general overview of the technical specifications on the 737-800. The 737-800 has an overall length of 129 feet 6 inches and a wingspan of 117 feet 5 inches. Nose wheel steering can be rotated up to 78 degrees, helping to minimize the turn radius of the aircraft. The minimum amount of pavement necessary to make a 180-degree turn is 79.1 feet. The wingtip swings the largest arc during a turn and determines the minimum obstruction path. All other portions of the plane remain within this arc. Caution! Do not attempt to make a turn away from an obstacle within 17.8 feet of the wingtip or within 24.3 feet of the nose. The 737NG is equipped with a forward and aft cargo compartment. Together, the cargo compartments have 1,564 feet of space. Doors for both cargo compartments are located on the right side of the fuselage. Numerous service panels are located throughout the exterior of the aircraft. An external power panel is located near the nose of the aircraft and is used primarily by maintenance for external power and service interphone communication. A fueling panel, located on the right wing, is used to control refueling, defueling, and fuel transfer. The 737NG does not, however, have the capability to jettison fuel. The aircraft has two wing-mounted CFM 56-7 engines, produced by CFMI, a joint venture of General Electric and SNECMA. The CFM 56-7 engines produce 26,000 pounds of thrust, with an option for 27,000 pounds of thrust as a bump on takeoff. The maximum takeoff weight is 174,200 pounds, while the maximum landing weight is 146,300 pounds. The maximum fuel capacity is approximately 6,875 gallons. This allows for a range of approximately 3,000 nautical miles. The maximum operating altitude is 41,000 feet. Normal cruise speed is 0.785 Mach, and the maximum certified speed is 0.82 Mach. The maximum takeoff and landing altitude is 8,400 feet. The flight deck is secured by a penetration-resistant door. In addition, a flight deck access system consisting of an emergency access panel, 
chime module, three position door lock selector, two indicator lights, and an access system switch is installed. The aft section of the flight deck includes one observer station, numerous circuit breaker panels, and storage compartments. Emergency equipment located in the flight deck includes the following. Three crew life vests, one halon fire extinguisher, one PBE, one crash axe, emergency escape ropes, and crew oxygen masks. The forward section of the flight deck is divided into various sections, which include the left and right forward panels, the glare shield panel, the center forward panel, the forward aisle stand, the forward overhead panel, the aft overhead panel, the control stand, and the aft electronic panel. The forward flight deck sections are divided even further to categorize separate system controls and monitors. The captain's and first officer's forward panels each contain a primary flight display and a navigation display. The forward panels also include clocks, heat and light controls, and display select panels. The mode control panel, or MCP, located on the glare shield, provides coordinated control of autopilot, flight director, altitude alert, and auto throttle functions. The glare shield also includes the EFIS control panels and the master warning and caution enunciators. The center forward panel contains the upper display unit, which is used to display engine indications, fuel indications, and a few crew alert messages. Also located on the center forward panel are other controls and indications for landing gear, flaps, auto brakes, and standby instruments. The forward aisle stand contains the control display units, or CDUs, which are used to interface with the Flight Management System, or FMS. The lower display unit is also located here and is used to display secondary engine parameters and hydraulic system status. The forward overhead panel provides switches to control and monitor numerous aircraft systems, including flight controls, fuel, electrical, pressurization, and air conditioning. On certain systems, Boeing has incorporated a simplified schematic onto the system panel to help with basic system understanding. The aft overhead panel, like the forward overhead panel, provides switches to control and monitor numerous aircraft systems. Some of these include leading edge devices, an IRS display, flight recorder, and oxygen systems. The control stand includes thrust levers, speed brake lever, flap lever, parking brake, and stabilizer trim. Most of the controls on the aft electronic panel are related to communication and navigation. However, there are other panels which include fire protection, radar controls, rudder and aileron trim, checklists, and flight deck door controls. In addition to the more common panels, there are also auxiliary panels located throughout the flight deck which provide a variety of uses. Some auxiliary panels include escape strap stowage, chart and map light controls, and nose wheel steering. 